and he won has a nothing. All of them, I swear. I, mean, I hope they're not so they, good. Dates, for, for me, I like the dates. He won like uh, so has a nothing. Uh, there is saffron, is nice. Uh, pistachio, mango is nice. Choosing your ice cream, camel milk is really very, very healthy milk. One of the facts about it, it's full of mineral, full of natural antibiotics. It is considered as one of the anti-cancer, anti-diabetes. It helps also in diabetes in uh, type uh, type A and type uh, B or one and two. Uh, it, ha uh, it has uh, uh, fats that it's the simple fats, not like the cow milk. Okay, uh, the percentage of fat in the cow milk is 5.0, uh, but in that one it's 2.5 and it's simpler. Okay, so it's very good to digest, it doesn't make uh, really fat. The people they can eat it as much as they can or as much as they want and they will not get fat. Also for men, really, if you want to have nice app, you can, you can really <laughs> drink camel milk every two days. It is really very nice for the uh, diet. Every single person that has a problem with lactose, this one is considered as lactose free. Okay, so it is not completely lactose free, but the percentage and the type of lactose in this milk, it is completely different than the cow and it doesn't make any allergy. Yeah, so it's really very nutritious. Com compare, uh, compared to the cow milk? The, no, uh, the goat milk, I don't know about the goat milk. <laughs> But they say goat uh, milk, yeah, in US, more yeah. fancy than cow milk. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Camel milk, by the way, it is considered the same like the mother's milk. Okay, so even for the babies, if the uh, if the mother she is not breastfeeding, they can let them drink the camel milk. <laughs> It is called Camelicious in Dubai. I like the ice cream, not sweet. That's what exactly, like. it's not sweet. The taste of the camel milk itself, it's like watery taste. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, this is our meeting point. Okay, this, this meeting point, if you are in the market and you don't know the direction, ask them about the Abra Kadabra without the Kadabra, okay? So ask them about the Abra boat. Abra boat. Yeah, okay. Abra boat. It's like like the word Abra Kadabra for magic. Yeah, <laughs> but without the Kadabra. So Abra boat. This is the area. The spice market is just across the road. You can ask them also where is the spice market. Okay. They will give you the direction. If you are really lost and you don't know what it is, in your name tag, at the back there is my number. Okay, keep it with you. You can call me 24 seven. If you have anything, just don't hesitate to call me. Okay, ask any shop around you, ask anyone around you. Can I call this number for emergency? They are very nice, they will call me. Hello. I wish you a much more of a spin name for Oh, 
Det må jeg bare i dag. And this is bestie in the world. Mm. Bestie in the world. This. <coughs> uh, this one. What is this? I don't know. Zapran. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you know. This is used like little little for rice, for mm -hmm. chicken, for uh, water, for tea, for mm -hmm. coffee. Very best rice. Uh, You know this one? Mm -hmm. See? Only one piece. Mm -hmm. Only one. traditional thing in United Arab Emirates and in the Gulf area uh, and in the Middle East uh, in general so this is part of their tradition it's part of the culture it's one of the things that they love but that gambling though yeah so if you are watching the horse race the, without gambling it might be boring yeah but if you are into the horse race really it is one of the fun thing it's one of the hobby that the people they do especially the uh, the jockeys or the players that they do that horse race the owners of the horses they get lots of prices This is one of the hotels. Let's slow down here, bro. Thank you so much. So this is one of the uh, hotels that you can see at the entrance. Horses, golden color. It's not gold, okay? It's only golden color. Yeah. This is a hotel called Al Qasr, and also one of the areas where they celebrate the Christmas and the New Year Eve. Seven star hotel, seven star? Uh, no, we don't have seven stars hotels uh, in the whole country. Okay, uh, Burj Al Arab, where we are going right now to take a photo for that sailing boat building, it is famous and it is known between the people only that it is seven stars hotel. 
officially from the government it's not seven stars it is luxurious hotel not this one uh that white building yeah yeah so it is luxurious hotel sheikh muhammad the ruler of dubai vice president and prime minister he wanted to make one of the most beautiful hotels of the world everybody that goes to this hotel the first world it should be wow okay and i will tell you about it here this is an entrance for souk madinat jumeirah souk madinat jumeirah is a shopping mall uh, it's like a shopping mall but all the shops inside they sell only the traditional goods so souvenir and traditional goods and it's uh, it is the expensive and the high quality one if you want to go there you can go also during your free time they have lots of restaurants as well inside it is known as the uh, little venice of dubai okay uh, coming on the left there is the entrance of burj al harab we will slow down while we are driving be ready with your camera and with your phone burj al harab is exclusive for the guest in house so if someone has booking they can go inside if there is no booking we cannot go inside it is built on a man-made island so to go to the hotel lobby we have to cross a bridge outside of this bridge right here there is the security that you can see them yeah this uh, white cube so this is the security where they check the bookings if you have the booking you can go inside if there is no booking they will say sorry you have to make a u-turn yeah Okay, uh, and uh, as I was saying, so Sheikh Mohammed, he wanted to make the wow factor in that hotel and to make it the most luxurious. Unfortunately, they didn't get the seven stars, okay? It is luxurious hotel. Until they get the seven stars, they will have a category uh, four stars. If there is no seven stars, they will not put any category. If you go to any hotel at the entrance, it's written, this is four stars, this is five stars or three stars. But this hotel, there is no stars at all. Sheikh Mohammed said, I will wait until we get officially the seven stars category and then we will put it. Otherwise, I will just keep it a luxurious hotel. That's it. No stars. Yeah. Exactly. No stars category at all. In, inside this hotel, they have only suite. They don't have single or double room. So it's only suite. Some of the suites are two floors, not only one floor. In each floor, they have a reception for the check-in and check-out. So when the guests, they arrive, they will do the check-in and check-out inside the suite itself. They have uh, decoration, the interior design of the suite. They have gold leaves, 24 carats in the wall, in the floor. Uh, so the people, they have this experience of luxury. All the door handles, the tap inside the toilet, all the, uh, all the things are gold plated with 24 karat gold. They use uh, more than 35 kilos of gold, uh, which is more than 70 pounds uh, of gold every year, only to gold plate everything inside the hotel. That's in their system. Okay, if you come after 10 years, if you come after 15 years or 20 years, they will prepare for you exactly the same things that you, uh, you ordered at the first time. Okay, they will take care of it. Uh, so that hotel, it's uh, exclusive for the guest in-house, as I said. But to go inside, you don't have to book a suite. You can have a high tea. It's a culinary experience for one hour. They will keep on serving you tea, coffee, unlimited water. Uh, they will give you a snack, canapé, some uh, dessert, some small sandwiches. Those uh, will be continuous for one hour. It costs roughly $160 per person, but you have to book in advance. So if you are going to the hotel, you have to call the hotel, book and pay for your uh, visit and then they will give you a reference number to come. If you came at the hotel and you ask them that I'm going to pay now, I want to go inside, they will tell you, sorry, you have to call the hotel first. 